Hey there everybody, and welcome to this quick 15-minute quick start guide to bring you up to speed with everything you need to know about Bitcoin. My name is Alon, and I'm a long-time Bitcoin enthusiast, living off of Bitcoin since 2012. And recently, I've been thinking about how can I help more people get involved in this exciting revolution. I'm Ravinder, a certified Bitcoin professional. And my journey with this ecosystem started back in 2013, where I started out by teaching live classes on aspects within this ecosystem, which then led to the creation of these high quality, engaging and practical videos on the ecosystem. And I'm Jonathan Levy, author and host of the award-winning Becoming Superhuman podcast. And recently, I've been drawn into the world of cryptocurrency, thanks to my friend Alone. If you ask me, this revolution is one of the most exciting things to happen in the last hundred years, and it has the potential to do for money and commerce what the internet did for information and communication. One thing we've all noticed, though, is that it can be really tricky and confusing to get started. How does it all work? Where do you buy? How do you secure your funds? What do you need to watch out for? Well, not to worry, because in this short video, we are going to cover all of that and much more so that you can get involved and join the new economy quickly and easily, even if you're not a geek. But first, what is Bitcoin and why is it so cool? Bitcoin is a new form of money that's completely digital and isn't controlled by anyone. Not banks, not governments, and not some overpaid CEO. Bitcoin pioneered an open source software protocol called blockchain that's being used by millions around the world and has the potential to revolutionize the entirety of human society. Even big banks and governments are starting to adopt it. Basically, you can think of blockchain as a big, synchronized digital book. Every time something like a transaction happens, all the copies of the book, everywhere in the world, have to check it, confirm it, and then add it to their own records. For this reason, a blockchain is literally unhackable. Because if you try to fool it, thousands of computers with a combined power of over 500 Googles would all take notice. But why do we need Bitcoin? There are a lot of reasons, but in my opinion, the most compelling one is that our current financial system is corrupt, shady and highly complex. It's controlled by a bunch of guys sitting in rooms making arbitrary decisions on complex and convoluted things like interest rates, fractional reserves and how much money they should just print out of thin air. If you don't believe us, Look at what happened in the 2008 financial crisis, all because of some reckless banks that were playing fast and loose with a broken financial system and people's life savings. Though Bitcoin is also somewhat complex, it is also transparent, censorship resistant and has a limited amount. It can't be forged and no government or bank can manipulate it or stop you from using it however you want. While central banks around the world are printing obscene sums of money to cover the trillion dollars of debt that they have in what's called currency war, they are also devaluing their currencies and shrinking the people's purchasing power. Bitcoin will only have 21 million coins ever and the rate of creation of new coins is set in stone. For this reason, it's not vulnerable to inflation like traditional government-issued currencies. This is why a lot of people refer to it as digital gold. In a way, it can be considered an independent asset class, which allows you to hedge against things like financial turmoil in the traditional economy. So how do we get some of this magical currency? Well, in order to own some Bitcoin, you don't open up a bank account because there are no banks. Instead, you open up a wallet. Basically, a wallet is a special address with a secret private password or key that only you hold. You can keep that key in a lot of different places from a smartphone app to a web-based wallet to a specialized hardware device 
or even just a simple piece of paper. And the best part is that because of the way that blockchain technology works, it doesn't actually matter if your phone dies or the piece of paper gets lost in a fire. As long as you have your private key somewhere, you can restore your wallet or transfer it from one type of storage to another. For starters, we recommend setting up a wallet using a smartphone app because they're really easy to use. Personally, I like my Celium for Android or Bread Wallet for iOS. Go ahead and take a moment to pause the video and download one of these. There are a lot of options out there, but these are open source, time-tested solutions. Later on, as you learn more and decide how you want to use your Bitcoin, you can always migrate your wallet to another solution that offers fancy stuff like debit card or extra security. Now that you're ready to set up a wallet though, it's really important that we talk a bit about security. Because Bitcoin isn't controlled by banks, you don't have the same protections that you would with traditional banks. You can't just call up a customer service hotline or claim insurance if your account is hacked. This means that if someone steals your private key, they essentially can take over your wallet. And the internet is literally filled with stories of people who've lost tens of thousands of dollars simply because they didn't take these three simple steps to secure their wallet. The first one is to write down your private key, otherwise known as your seed, on a piece of paper. This seed is a randomly generated 12 to 24 word phrase that allows you to restore your private key and therefore recreate your wallet. Of course, make sure that you write this down on a piece of paper and put the paper somewhere secure where thieves won't even think to look. Do not save this document on your phone or take a screenshot of it as that completely defeats the whole purpose. The next step will protect you from 95% of attacks. Enable something called two-factor authentication on anything that relates to your Bitcoin wallet and secure your phone and computer with a password, pin code, or a fingerprint while you're at it. If you're not familiar with two-factor authentication, it basically means that in order to log into various services, you need to type in a dynamic code which you'll pull from an authentication app on your device such as your smartphone. We like Google Authenticator and suggest staying far away from SMS or email authentication codes because they're extremely hackable with social engineering. Our recommendation is to enable second factor authentication on your email, your password manager, any exchanges that you use to buy Bitcoin and any service that offers it uh, that you care about its security. Which leads us to our next point. How the heck do you actually get some Bitcoin? Well, there are a lot of ways. You can buy Bitcoin from real people using cash or any other form of payment on websites like localbitcoins.com. You can accept it in your business. Or if you're like most people, you can buy it on an exchange. Exchanges allow you to deposit dollars, euros, or even other types of cryptocurrency and buy Bitcoin or any of the other digital coins out there. Unfortunately, getting set up with most exchanges takes some time. This is because nearly all of the exchanges are required to verify your identity before they'll allow you to make the purchases. And most of the big exchanges are extremely backlogged with thousands and thousands of verification requests. Fortunately, one exchange, Coinbase, has an instant verification tool, and they even accept credit and debit cards. This is great for making your first purchases, especially if you're waiting for verification from one of the other larger exchanges. And the best part is that you can use this link, jle.vi slash Cbase, to get $10 free on your first order. Just remember this third security tip, no matter what exchange you purchase on, to transfer all of your coins out of the exchange after you purchase, until the coins are in your own secure wallet with your own private key backed up, they are not your coins. And people have lost literally hundreds of millions of dollars when exchanges get hacked. The only way to prevent this is to move your cryptocurrency into your own secure wallet. Just a note of warning, by the way. 
Keep in mind that while people are making millions of dollars on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, these new assets are still extremely volatile, meaning the prices go up and down a lot. And so we don't recommend investing more money than you can afford to lose. In fact, the best strategy is just to buy a little amount every week or every month so that on average you will make money. Speaking from experience, if you think that you can beat the market by buying and selling at the right time, you're in for some serious heartbreak. Now, if you're like myself, Jonathan and Ravinder, you will probably want to buy your Bitcoins and hold on to them forever. But in the event that you want to use Bitcoin as a currency or send it to other places, we just want to show you how easy it is. All you have to do is copy and paste the recipient's address or even just scan a QR code and the payment is transmitted. Just note that because of the massive growth of Bitcoin right now, transactions are a little bit expensive and a little bit slow for the time being. It might take an hour or so for your transaction to be fully confirmed. So that's pretty much it. You're now ready to create your own wallet and buy your first bit of Bitcoin. If you're like us, you're probably going to get sucked into this incredibly fascinating world and want to learn more. Definitely. In fact, there's a whole lot more to cover and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. So we actually encourage you to drop your email in the form on our website below and we will be happy to send you guys a free guide with some of our favorite resources for learning more as well as news and updates and even more information about our premium training programs so that you can really get up to speed and make sure that you're protecting yourself. We hope you've enjoyed this video and let us be the first people to welcome you guys to the new economy.